hello guys welcome to my youtube channel scholar tag studio in this video i will teach you how you can use step function in msc adams view okay so this function can be used to apply a specific distance and also it's used to apply the force torque or to apply the boundary condition so this is a, a time dependent function so let's suppose this is my model and i want to rotate this model from this place to this place okay and then i want to stay here or i want to delay here for one second and then it reverses direction and come here okay and then stay uh, here for one second and then it return to its uh, original position so uh, let's suppose i want to apply a reciprocating moment to this system so <coughs> we can apply this uh, function as a motion okay so first we have to create a motion first i right click on it and then go to toggle uh, icon so in this way you can uh, display all the joints so we can apply a linear force at linear joint so there is a linear joint between this and this one part okay so first we go to the motion and here we will select the linear motion and then we will specify this motion at this linear joint okay so here we can see that the motion is created okay so by default uh, the motion is created in term of uh, displacement and time okay so now we need to modify this one so right click on it and then go to modify okay so this uh, motion window will pop up and here you can see that the function is 10 times 10 multiplied by times it means that this is the function of time so in one second it will cover the 10 millimeter okay so it will move in this direction but will not return or will not follow the reciprocation mo mo motion so we will click on these three dots and we will clear this okay and then here we will find a step function so here you can see that this is a step function click this step function and then go to assistant and click here so here you can see that uh, it has five columns so first one is here we have to put the time because we are assigned the motion with respect to time so begin at so it begin at the zero uh, zero second and end at uh, one second so initial value initial displacement is zero let's suppose i want to move this one is 100 millimeter okay uh, here you have to put the time this is our independent variable here is the position of uh, like the time at start at zero and this is the end time and here we will select the initial function like the displacement is zero and here is the hundred and said okay so here you can see that our step function okay now it will move in one direction now I want to move in reverse direction so what I have to do I just have to copy this one okay and then here we have to add the plus sign and control V okay so now we want to give the delay of one second then our second function will start at two second and the initial value is zero and it will uh, end at three second okay sorry so here is two second okay and now here we have to put the minus if we put the minus then it will move in reverse direction let's suppose I put here minus 200 now it will move minus 200 in reverse direction okay now I need to move this to its original position so I just put the plus and copy this function and now we have to start here 4 if we start here 4 it means that there is a delay of 1 second and initial value is 0 and when this is 5 then it will return to plus then it will move into uh, plus uh, 100 millimeter okay so after writing this 
we can verify from here so the our syntax is correct you can assign this uh, to a linear motion you can also assign this to a circular motion for circular motion you have to specify uh, the degree so you have to put the d with this one so if you are working with linear motion then you don't need to put the uh, units with this motion okay so now our function is okay and now we will set okay and then we will apply okay and now we go to the simulation and uh, here we will select let's suppose five mil uh, second and here i will put the thousand steps okay so now we click this one so now you can see that it's moving in this direction now it stay here for one second and then it's return its position okay here 200 millimeter move this side and now it stay here one second and then it's return to its uh, original position so in this way you can use your step function to uh, assign a specific uh, displacement to your body i hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video and uh, oh let me also show you the results so this is a post processing click here okay so now the post processing is open now we need to specify the now we have to display the results so we here we will select the object here we will select the body and uh, this is my moving part and here i will select the position with respect to z axis x axis no z axis okay so this is uh, the exact body the slider okay and uh, uh, here we will select the position so here we can see that it start moving for one second and it's cover the distance of 100 millimeter and then stay here for one second and then it's cover the distance of 200 millimeter in one second then here is a stay and then it's return to its original position and here we can also check the velocity of this so this is the velocity and uh, from here we can also draw the acceleration so this is the acceleration of this body